and the ring gear to get the ring gear off look there's a couple of different ways people do them and you choose yours but I have seen people heat them up in one spot and crack them off but look to tell you the truth they're not normally very tight so And there you go, one ring gear gone. So, I'll roll the clutch up over there out of the way. The thing you need to know with a ring gear is that the gears are beveled on one side and machined flat on the other. There's no lead in to the gears. So, you can see you've got a flat tooth on the back and where the starter, so the starter comes in from the rear of the tractor so um, this bevel goes onto the clutch side. So if you were in a pickle and you didn't want to replace that, and oh look, it doesn't look all that bad. You can um, put a little, get the grinder and just put a little run in on each of the teeth. And for a backyard bush fix, that would work. But anyway, we're going to put a new one in just because we have an opportunity to show you. Okay, we've got the flywheel on a stand here. I've just got a stand just for doing the job. And we have the new ring gear. Now, <coughs> the new ring gear I'm using is a Sparex 42422. And look, they're a lovely ring gear. You can see, you can see the nice square cut gears at the back here. That's a nice machined it's got a little chamfer here, which is a leading edge to help get it on. On the other end there, you can see the tooth profile, and it's got a nice lead in. So we have to remember that when the ring gear sits on like that, the starter motor sits there and comes in like this. So the ring gear sits in there and then the starter comes down onto it. So you've got to be sure of your lead, which side your lead's going. Now, on the ring gear here, just give him a bit of a clean. Whoop, I'm all over the shop with that, it's a brake cleaner. And we're just making sure there's no waxy, you know, any residue on that's gonna hop in between the, the surfaces. And I've done the same around the outer here of the ring gear, of the flywheel, I mean. So we have that all ready to rock and roll. We sit the flywheel up like that, ready to go. Now, get yourself a hammer and a good soft punch. So... My good soft punch will be in here. I thought I had it on the bench, but I haven't. So if you just have a steel punch, make sure you come in close there if you need to, or I like to use my alloy one. That's an old baler finger off a, off a old New Holland baler, you know, where, they, where the feeder tines went in. That's, that's one of those. So. Okay, so what the plan is, is we have to expand this ring gear enough that it will sit down and drop down onto this shoulder here. So I've got the oxy set up over here. I'll try and get that going without it making too many crackers for you. And we'll see what we can get going. So the idea is to just go round and round and round and heat this up and it will expand enough to drop into place.
okay. You can see how we went then. That, that went a little bit crooked. But um, you can hear the solid when it went right down. When it went right down. So, well, hey, there's me drop for the video. I'm done. Okay, so we've got to let that cool now, of course. Um, the heat gets right into the flywheel, so we just need to let that cool down. As the whole show cools down, you don't want too much heat in the flywheel, but the heat does transfer from the gear, but that will have shrunk on there now. Now, could you just hammer it on? Look, you probably could, but by expanding it, you can pop it down a little bit and it will shrink in. Now, um, on some flywheels and some ring gears, it depends. Uh, you can just heat it round and round, and they just sort of plop and they drop into place. This one, I just had to help in a little bit. And that, look, that's fine, nothing wrong with that. We'll let that cool down. In the meantime, while it's cooling down, you'll notice there's a, like a real shiny surface where the clutch plates run. I do like to get a little piece of um, wet and dry, not wet and dry, emery tape, something like that, and take that glaze off the plate here. So we'll see how we go. All right, that's putting a ring gear on. Next time you see this flywheel, it'll have a bearing on it. It'll have a little spigot bearing on. I won't put that in yet. There's still a, oh, there's a little bit of heat there, not much. But I have an S40734 pilot bearing. Now, the pilot bearing, we're not going to add any grease to it. You don't need to. The only time this pilot bearing turns is while your foot's on the clutch. You should not wear a bearing out with your foot on the clutch. Just saying. <laughs> okay, that's it. We'll move on. We'll get this ready to pop on the back of the tractor again. And we'll put the clutch on.